the energy business is cyclical. There's right. no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that uh, allows a disciplined long-term investor the opportunity to buy in at the uh, weak points in the cycle. And of course, if you buy into the right company with the right management, with the right thought process and the right allocation of capital that realizes that too, mm -hmm. you know, then they allocate capital at the right times and they don't do it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And so that's what uh, Calfrac did in uh, 2009. They acquired two U.S. companies at less than replacement value, so therefore entered into the market at a very attractive price where they couldn't replicate that, uh, you know, on a direct basis. Mm -hmm. And so, once again, we think there's probably opportunities for consolidation in the U.S., and we think that's interesting. We also think longer term we're confused about the pressure pumping business because in the United States, the three large players are the big three. It's Halliburton, Schlumberger, and Baker Hughes. Right. And, <clears throat> uh, of course, those companies, a number of them used to be in the onshore drilling business, and they're not in that business today because right. it's much too commodity-oriented and it's asset-intensive. So the same thing is true now of pressure pumping. So I don't know what they're going to do with that business. They didn't invest and lost share significantly over the last number of years. You know, they, I don't think they really want to invest in that business today, reinvest mm -hmm. in it. So I don't know what happens, but I think that's an interesting driver. The last thing we like about it is the management owns 25% uh, of the company, the management and the board, and so therefore it's uh, they have skin in the game. They think about capital allocation, they understand that process, and therefore that gives us a much higher conviction rate mm -hmm. that when they employ capital, it's really going to be intelligently employed that really builds. Uh, and, and the earnings concept of the business is also straightforward too. In 2011, the company earned over $4 a share. At the time, they had 600,000 horsepower capacity. Today, they have a million horsepower capacity, so it's 40% larger capacity than they did in 2011. At some point, we think pricing gets strong again. It may not get to the level, but therefore, we think the earnings power of the business is definitely higher than what it was, mm -hmm. and will continue because this business will continue to grow because the application of the technology makes all the sense in the world. So, therefore, you got a, a business that's a growth business that is cyclical, that has a higher capacity today, and has a depressed earnings level. And we think those earnings, uh, you know, therefore, at today's $25 price, you know, uh, you've got a company we think can earn $5 a share mm -hmm. on a sustainable basis. So, you know, very uh, low number in terms of sustainable earnings level.